Steelhead, they've been referred to as the fish of a thousand casts. Some people, all they like to do is steelhead. Well, for those of us that don't live in a steelhead region, you ought to maximize your opportunities. It's the middle of May, we're at the Gold River and there's lots of fish in the system. We've got Morgan McLean, the top guides guiding us. Well, that's cast number one, and snagged up on a rock, which is part of steelheading. <laughs> Winter steelheading, that's today, as we take you sport fishing on the fly. Whoa, got lucky, came loose. Fly box. Always important. Yeah, that's definitely about a, that's, I think that's a 200 grain for sure. Let me just see this. At least. All right, come to the first little hole. We're gonna, we're gonna try to attack it now. Last time I was here, you still had moving through, you know, we actually hooked up a couple, but now, uh, early May, and there's, there's still had all through here. All through here. Now, as you can see, there's fish all over the place here. There's one just rolled out there. <laughs> and you're gonna see as we do a float later on in the day, most pools we go to are gonna be pretty stacked up with fish. Yes. Right now, I've got my, uh, I've got my GL3, eight foot, or nine, nine weight, or eight weight rod. Sorry, mm -hmm. eight weight rod. I got the sink tip, I've got about a 200 grain. Now, you were saying, Type six is 200 grain is probably good for this. It is, like you can look out in this pool and see it looks very shallow. At first sight, it almost looks like you could walk right across, but it's probably four or five feet deep yeah. in, in most of the parts. So you need something that's gonna get down and at the same time, it's gonna present the fly, not too fast. Oh. Their fish just okay, well, enough there. talk. Let's, Let's get, get at it. <laughs> and I'm starting with you, put on a little egg sucking leaf. To start. Yes, a little black egg sucking leech. Good, okay. Something in the sunlight that should not spook the fish, but at the same time will... Now the idea here, do we want to make a few casts in short to start? Well, what I'm seeing right now is that you got a big line of fish, fairly in short, maybe 15 feet out. So the other thing that I'm seeing is we have a really big fish sitting maybe 25 feet out. And I see that my, my tendency is to kind of go to go that guy. I mean, look at it. He's, he's like a big black spot out there. He's it's in just a like perfect a log. spot for you to, <laughs> to swing a fly to him. Well, and there's another big one past him too. Well, enough of the, enough of the chat. I would let's, say right now, just put casting. it in front of the fish. Yeah, 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 let's go for it. We're not trout swinging. Okay. okay. You want to feed it in front of them. What you want to do is cast the sink tip so it lands straight out, almost perpendicular to you. Okay. Yep. You're going to give it a second with your little men's, and, and the men's are basically to give it a little bit of loose line so it's going to be able to sink. Okay. What you don't want to have, oh, look at the size of that fish. Just gonna, <laughs> what you don't want to have is the sink tip bending and okay. sweeping around like this because right. that's going to draw the fly up to the surface. So we want to mend and keep it. You want everything straight. So when I cast it out, it's on a straight line. So here's my fly. Perpendicular here's to the, the water. Sink tip. Okay, perpendicular. You're going to let it start going down and create a very straight line, slow swing. So keep mending up parallel to the water. Mending up and mending out. Okay. So if you find it's going too fast around, you want to mend it out and that's going to allow it to sink again and also slow it down. Okay. So kind of the difference is, is to try to get the slowest, deepest swing as possible. Okay. That way when it's going in front of the fish, instead of up here, the fish don't have to move very right. far for it. Because okay. they don't want to expand the energy to do that. So be awesome. I love it. All right. As soon as your line stops, you let her go, eh? You're gonna see, oh, you're gonna see two things. The line's gonna stop, or you're just gonna almost get the rod ripped out of your hands. <laughs> I'm hoping to see the rod. <laughs> okay. Get hit hard. Too far upstream, you think? No, or? I think that's pretty good. Right. No, it's not a rock. Yeah. Got to change it, eh? Do you have a type six? Yep. Try it. 
try for him. All right, nice fish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, he's not happy. He's not happy at all. Yeah, he doesn't want to commit. No, he doesn't. <laughs> he doesn't want to hit that shallow water. Those types of listen to the reel. Oh, yeah. That's what oh. steel hunting's all about right there. <laughs> Gee, I haven't had a chance to have a look at him yet. I haven't gotten a good look at him either. Well, that's the tough thing, too, is you think half the time that you could be snagged. You know? You... Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Unreal. All the way into the other bay over there. Look at that. He's not happy oh, at all. Jump it. Well, what's happening is all the time it's so tough to detect that take because your fly is always on the bottom, and yep. when you bring, you know, when you're feeling those touches, you don't know whether it's set. And you're saying just set on everything. Set on everything. Lots of times, um, what you did there was swinging it. A lot of times you can get those aggressive hits, and they just come in and, and yeah. hit it, and, and you automatically feel the head shaking. And, and the thing is, no muscle. You know, I try to keep the rod tip up. Yep. When they go for the run, maybe bounce them a little bit, but don't give them much slack. Eh? Exactly. Well, with again, barbless hooks, I mean, these fish, they can pull some funky moves oh, on you. Yeah. Well, we've changed up a couple of different setups. We've, uh, we've gone, we've stuck with that purple egg sucking leech, being very effective. We had a couple of hits, didn't hook them up. Finally, we get the hook up. Yes. But again, we had to change the sink tip. Earlier on, we went with the two or 300 green line. Found we were always on the bottom. Yeah. Steadily on the bottom, fairly shallow water, you know, four to five feet deep. Changed over to the six weight, the type six uh, sink tip, and uh, you could just feel the bottom once in a while. Just the odd tick here and there. And that's that's exactly what you want oh, to feel. Oh man, look at him shaking. Now he's he's going down, so why don't we kind of slide down? This is a pretty impressive guy. fisher. We got trees all over the place. If it's possible, it would be better here because it's just trees all the way around. But we can see what happens. Nah, he's going down though. Yeah, we, we're going to have to, I guess. Oh. Why don't we try to take him right out of here and, and we'll maybe land him at the bottom end of this gravel bar if we can. Sure. We'll get away from these trees anyways. That's the thing about steelhead, you know, you got to move with them. You're, you're not you going to easily get them in your first <laughs> yeah, spot. You can't oh, look at that. I mean, that is a beautiful, beautiful. That's a beautiful fish. fish. Look at that guy. Oh. That is what steel hunting is all about right and there. Nothing better than getting them on the fly, you know. Nothing. That's just, it's just the ultimate. See the fly right hanging fly, out just there. hanging out. Oh, okay, I think he's ready. I think he's ready too. If you ease him in here and I'll grab yep. hold of his tail if you let me. That's so real. I'll just ease him right into here. Oh, there All we go. Alright. And oh, she is beached. Isn't that a beauty? Beautiful a beautiful female. Fish. Look at right. that. Here, that grab nice? the rod for me. Oh, wow. Oh, the yeah. old purple egg sucking yeah. leech comes right, through again. Right in the bottom of the lip. That barbell suck just slides out like nothing. There she is. Isn't that a what daddy? A Look fish. at that. That's a beauty. What, what do you think that runs? Straight. I think that's somewhere around 14-ish, 12 to beauty. 14. And you don't want to pull them out of the water much, eh? Keep the head in the water. Keep them breathing. We're going to let this beautiful go. Look at that. What a fish. Oh, what a fight. <laughs> nice Unbelievable. Job. Nice job. Very nice job. Try to get her pointed up. Oh, no, she wants uh, to go. She's fine. There she goes. <laughs> Morgan. Nice. Unbelievable. Man, oh, man. <laughs> You can't what a beat fish. it. You cannot beat it. No. And you know, we worked over fish. We saw the fish there. We worked them over hard, had a couple of bites, and finally you get that aggressive one. Clobbers Bam. it. Bam. And that's what I was saying. Just keep on it, keep on it, keep on it, and, and one's got to <laughs> take it. Unbelievable. That's why it's the fish of a thousand casts. You know, you just got to keep working them, working them, and eventually it'll pay off. And when you do, look at the reward. Awesome. <laughs> that's nothing Thanks like again. It. Well, we're <laughs> right going to get on. Grandy one now. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Wow. Right on. Cool. Nice job. <laughs> nice job. You worked that area hard. Well, we've all worked this area really yeah, hard. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and you came in and busted that guy out of there. That was beautiful. So where are we going to land this one? Well, he looks, he's coming in really close here and we still I can't get a good look at him. Oh, that's a nice fish. We'll probably have to end up taking him around taking here. Taking the quiet water down there? Sure. Yeah, so why don't we just walk around here and A good solid pull, and then we have this nice beach area here. Oh, yeah. You can land them if you'll come around. So, what's the average? 
box to dose do you get? Uh, it, it so varies. <laughs> it's really actually hard to even say. Some days you get lots of females, some days you get lots of bucks. You know, as you can see, to hook three winter wrench steelhead on the fly, you know, that quickly is, doesn't it's, happen every day. Yeah, it's amazing. It's a beautiful thing. Oh, well, it's such a beautiful area here too. I mean, even, you know, just to take in all the sights that you That's have out it. here as well, it's just amazing. A lot of times uh, when I get people out here the first day, I almost count, you, you know, it's almost a write-off because they're looking around <laughs> at the scenery so much and not You're quite paying tape. enough attention to the fishing. Okay, there we go. Not yet, <laughs> and that fish still has a lot of spunk, so. <laughs> well, and you know, I mean, they're going to go back out here and the, the river's not flowing that fast. Exactly. So they're going to have a chance to recover and sit and... Exactly. And be caught another day. That's it. Because we're going to let this guy go. Just like we let them all go. Wild steelhead BC. You yeah. got to catch and release. Oh, what are, what are the regs here? Um, everything wild steelhead is all 100% catch and release. Great. It's to preserve the wild stocks. You are allowed to keep hatchery fish, but the Gold River doesn't have any hatchery fish. It's a completely wild fishery. So it's a really unique thing when you think, you know, these fish have been coming up here unaffected by man for before. <laughs> We were here. Yeah. It's, it's great to be a part of it. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> <laughs> the fish came in. We had hold of him. He just got out of my hands, and unfortunately, the line wrapped around my jacket and broke it off. But hey, we touched him. You betcha, we yeah. saw him. That was right. beautiful fish. Nice fish, yeah. Good spite. Excellent. Oh, man. <laughs> Unbelievable. That. You know what? Exact same spot. Yes. So a few fish, again, moving through the hole, but they weren't touching it. The guy's in close. So I went out just a little bit further into the deeper, just off the little drop off. Mm -hmm. First cast through on the swing, just swinging by. Bam. Awesome. Just popped <laughs> right on. Oh. And I have my two rods set up, right? I've got, we've got three rods, actually. Four rods working right now. That's it. And, uh, and again, this one, this setup had the other sink tip. Another nice Oh, a nice fish. Good job. <laughs> <Woo -hoo -hoo. laughs> All right, well, we'll take them up above the trees this time. Perfect. Set it down. Oh. You know, I'm watching your fish swim around, and we oh. got another big male sitting in Look there. Look at that. Oh, oh man. Nice Look at that. fish. Oh, oh, man. Oh, well, try to get her in here. I'll pull her up for definitely. you. Definitely. Grab the tail, ready. another nice female. Yeah, she didn't go for the scream and runs like the other one, but uh, it's still a great fish. Oh, and it's in the hand. <laughs> All right. <laughs> fish landed. Uh, just inhaled the fly. Yeah, and they always oh, wind themselves around. around everything. Look at all the wraps. Oh, Classic beautiful. fish. I gotta get the so another wrap or two. Look at her, she's just, just wrapped. wrapped. There we go, barbless hook. Right in the mall, right in the top left. All right. Look, just pops out. Look at that beauty. Grab hold of your fish. Oh, yeah. Grab her by the tail. Got her there. She's still got yeah. a little bit of. How big do you think yeah. that one is, Morgan? That is probably right around 10 to 12. I'd oh, say beautiful. 12 ish. Yeah, but look at that. Look at that. Oh, what a beautiful fish. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you got to hold on to it. Thanks nice a lot. Nice job. Man, oh, man. And again, egg sucking leech down and across. Not with traditional stuff where we've actually been feeding it into the fish. Mm -hmm. We've been feeding a bit, but then allowing it to swing back through. That's and that's when, we, when we've had both of those now. Yeah, and it's kind of right in the middle of the swing or right near the end, and they just come out and That was it, right near the <laughs> end. I mean, as soon as I was swinging through, boom, it just stopped. And then you feel the head shakes. Water temperature today, 42.8 degrees right now. Mm -hmm. It's great temperature. Is that the right temperature? For it's a great temperature. I feel it right now. It feels kind of cold holding that fish. <laughs> it's freezing cold. But uh, this is a good temperature. They should be on. The sun's coming out, so I think we're going to see some more And a great day. I mean, for winter steelheading, this is about as good uh, a day as you're going to get. This is incredible. Right on. Absolutely incredible. Well, when we come back, some more great fishing from the Gold River. Right on. Hell, all right. Nicely done. Got a real screamer on your hands, eh? 
Big fish. It's too big, you saw. <laughs> oh, yeah, it looks good. Oh, I can't. Look at the rock. What do you got for a rod? Oh, there he is. That's an eight weight. Eight weight. Oh, whoa, oh, look at nice that. Fish. Oh, he's oh, 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 yeah. Oh, he's got Get out of your way here. There's still a little bit of time here yet. Uh, yeah. The big thing, don't get impatient. We'll get this. That is a beautiful, beautiful steelhead. <laughs> uh, he's just sitting there with his mouth open. Head shaking. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Look at the size of that. Oh. <laughs> now look at its cheeks. It's got a gash. Either a bird or a seal or something. Look at that fish. Oh, that's beautiful. Just a little bit more. Alright. Good job, Dale. Hey, Look hop at down the there and get your fish. <laughs> <laughs> hop oh, down yeah. there. Look okay, at take that. Take out your photo watch here. See the way he's looking small. Yeah. Big small guys. Yeah, right on. <laughs> okay. Look oh, at that. That guy's packing some pounds. Uh, that's a good 16. Get him in there. Just in the little hook. Just by a <laughs> Look at that fish. By nothing. Let's give this guy a drink. Look at the size of That's impressive. That's why he comes steelhead. That is it right there. Oh, yeah. Nice red cheeks. Oh. You just keep getting ready. Okay. Here. All right, Dale. Okay. Send your fish on its way. <laughs> <laughs> All right. On the, Thank you. The Very purple, nice. The purple. Purple eggs actually each, and we purple's been good all day. All day? Grant, another fish. <laughs> it's been quite a day, hasn't it? It really has. Yeah. It's, uh, this one's not as big, though. Hey, steelhead or steelhead. <laughs> Way bigger <laughs> than rainbow we're going to catch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A lot smaller than uh, well, yeah, the one that Dale, Dale caught was huge. <laughs> and this is a uh, is a little buck, a little smaller than the other guys. They go through different stages though, right? When they're in the, in a river like this. They do. You get the very silver chrome fish that come out of the ocean and move up the rivers on their journey to spawn. And then you have the spawners where they start coloring up, and they start coloring up for once they spend however much time in the river and during their spawn. And then after they finish the spawn, you see these very long, skinny silver fish that are basically what we call kelps that are heading their way back to the ocean. So how long do they spend in the system like this? Uh, anywhere from one to a couple of months. Okay. And that's the winter run. Summer run steelhead will spend up to a year in the system. Up to a year? Up to a year. Wow. It's amazing. Yeah, good opportunity for catching fish. Exactly. <laughs> Save fish. Okay, so what I'll get you to do is just try and slide his head right up. There we go. Wow, excellent. Beautiful fish. <laughs> get you to take the hook out there. So this is a fish that's getting really ready to spawn. He'll be spawning here pretty soon. Excellent. They're just amazing. They really are. <laughs> well, you know, if, if anybody hasn't done the steelhead thing, you know, we don't have the opportunity to do this because we don't have steelhead in our area. But, you know, what a great thing to do. Come down here, pick a prime time, like we've done. This is a prime That's time. It. That is it. So it's May. When are some other good times? Uh, other good times are July and August, September and October. <laughs> and basically... <laughs> November, December. Most of the year. Um, <laughs> February right through to the middle of May. Well, so. plus you got lots of different systems here too. You don't just have That's the gold, it. you got other systems. So throughout the whole year, you got a pretty good chance. And on the Gold River system, you can technically catch steelhead 12 months a year. Wow. Between fresh fish, kelts, whatever. It's, it's a beautiful thing. <laughs> Great <laughs> on. Awesome. Very nice job. <laughs> right Keep on. it up.